गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम एवरीबॉडी ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ पालमेड स्पेशलिटी क्लिनिक आई एम डॉक्टर सुब्रत पाल कंसल्टेंट गैस्ट्रोएंट्रोलॉजिस्ट एंड लिवर स्पेशलिस्ट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अ कॉमन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ आवर सोसाइटी एंड इट्स वेरी मेजर प्रॉब्लम दैट इज हेपेटाइटिस बी वायरस इन्फेक्शन हेपेटाइटिस बी वायरस इज अ ब्लड बॉर्न वायरस दैट इज the virus is transmitted from one person to other person through a blood or uh, blood products that means contamination of blood can lead to the transmission of this virus from one person to other person so the, this may be either through the blood blood products sometimes unprotected uh, sexual activities sometimes uh, some operations some uh, with a contaminated uh, instruments and sometimes the virus can be transmitted from the uh, beauty parlors saloons by doing uh, by sharing the razors sharing the uh, toothbrush like this there so by all this method where the blood is con coming contact with other person's blood the virus can be transmitted the chance of transmission of this virus if one person is infected so this is the virus it is a blood borne virus and this causes acute or chronic two types of inflammation or infection in the liver so acute infection means the when the virus enters into the body it causes inflammation inside the liver which lead to hepatocellular uh, injury and there is jaundice and sometimes very rarely it can lead to fulminant hepatic failure and decompensation but uh, most of the time the acute infection subsides with time with some uh, conservative treatments and some uh, bed taking rest and other uh, treatment and in some cases the acute infection may lead to chronic infection when the infection or inflammation in the liver persist for more than 6 months it can lead to chronic infection when the virus becomes chronic it is a problem for the patients because most of the time this chronic infection persist for uh, long time very very long time sometimes life long Uh, so and it lead to uh, different complications like hepatitis like fibrosis of the liver like cirrhosis of liver with accumulation of fluid inside the abdomen sometimes upper gi bleeding sometimes hepatocellular carcinoma that is liver cancer so these are the different complications of acute con complications of chronic uh, hepatitis b virus infection and but most of the case, uh, cases the chronic infection do not cause any harm to the liver there is chances of uh, cr chronic infection that can lead to different complication is very less but most of the time this becomes uh, asymptomatic and most of the time it is remain undiagnosed for long period of time so we have to diagnose at right point of time and to intervene and to give treatment to the patients Uh, to diagnose the disease in the early stage so that we can prevent the further complications it has been found that in our uh, community about 2 to 3% of our population is harboring this virus in their blood but they do not uh, cause any symptom of their own so that the diagnosis becomes late so the who are the persons where we can uh, give uh, or assess the and to try to diagnose whether the patient is suffering from uh, viral infection that is hepatitis b virus infection so high risk group we have to uh, categorize who are the high risk groups where we can uh, uh, give uh, test the test for hepatitis b virus infection that is sexual workers where the um, paramedical staffs or medical staffs nursing staffs doctors these are the persons these are the group of patients uh, persons where the chances of hepatitis b virus infection is much more uh, so these persons should be screened apart from this thalassemic patients apart from this leukemic patients where the regular blood uh, transfusion is required and pregnancy is also very important uh, group of persons where we should uh, test for hepatitis b virus uh, infection present or not and if the virus is present then we have to assess whether the virus uh, is acute infection or chronic infection and what are the stages of the disease and what are the uh, condition of the severity of the disease and then accordingly we have to assess or formulate our treatment schedule so by this we uh, i want to share my uh, 
views on the hepatitis B virus infection in the community that is it is um, a highly preventable disease we can prevent this virus transmission by giving appropriate vaccination in the appropriate times uh, so that it can be prevented particularly in those group of uh, patients where uh, in this group of families where one person is suffering from hepatitis B virus infection so uh, we have to advise the other persons of the family members uh, to test for this virus and if this all these are negative then we have to give uh, vaccination and if the other persons of the family is also suffering from this uh, virus infection then we have to give uh, a treatment or we have to assess the disease severity at the stage of the disease so it is nothing to worry about this hepatitis b virus infection and no that there is no stigma about the disease it is a very much uh, preventable disease and if virus at all infected infect the person there is enough treatment is available right now and which can revert the fibrosis it can stop the viral replication and it can prevent the further complications like cirrhosis of liver sometimes hepatocellular carcinoma but, no, but, but hepatitis b virus infection means that everything ends here uh, that is not like this we have a uh, lot of treatment in our hand and main thing is to when treatment is uh, advised it has to be con uh, continued unless and until the physician treating physician stops the uh, medications otherwise if uh, the virus uh, becomes uh, further uh, resistant to the uh, therapy so it is not uh, wise to stop the treatment in in the middle of the therapy and if the most of the patients do not require any treatment so they but they need regular follow up they need regular assessment of the condition of the uh, virus condition of the liver and the condition of the uh, fibrosis status and uh, whether the person is uh, progressing whether the virus causes chronic infection can lead to progression of the disease that we have to assess uh, by time to time so this is a um, uh, message from the from palmet specialty clinic i am dr subroto pal i want to convey the message that hepatitis b virus is a highly preventable disease it can be prevented by giving um, adequate vaccination appropriate vaccination in appropriate time and testing is also very important for the high risk uh, populations where we can by giving by testing for hepatitis b virus we can diagnose early in their uh, infection so that we can assess the disease severity we can give uh, therapy when as and when required but the point is that most of the patient do not require in therapy but they need regular follow up and regular assessment of the condition of the disease thank you very much for kind watching